Gotham War continues in this great issue here. Let's uh, talk about Catwoman at number 57. Uh, I'm loving this Gotham War storyline by Chip Zdarsky started it in Batman. It's continuing on through Catwoman and back to Batman again. And uh, let's talk about this using my space system. Story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. The storyline is two out of two in this comic plus this uh, entire kind of arc. I, uh, I'm just digging it so much. I love that there's these two different versions of what is good in Gotham. We got Batman who's like, look, there shouldn't be crime. And Catwoman who's like, well, there's going to be crime anyways. So if we can control the type of crime it is, then we ensure that no one gets hurt or killed. And yes, the rich people will lose um, something, but they can afford to lose it versus people who can't afford to lose it. And Batman is a crime is a crime. They're doing a good job of showing all of the sides of this, uh, you know, predicament. Um, I'm going to go with Batman. A crime is a crime. Someone's hurt. They're innocent. It shouldn't happen. So um, I'm always going to side with Batman. He's my second favorite character. Uh, Superman is my first. Uh, but there's my Superman. There's my Batman. Batman takes up a lot because he got a lot of stuff. But Superman takes up two shelves and Batman takes up two shelves of stuff. So that's still uh, pretty good. Um, I love both characters. Uh, my whole life so um if i gotta choose i gotta be on batman's side it's batman you know and uh but the story's doing really good for me uh showing both sides of it and just kind of seeing where all the characters align and why do they align which i'll get to in the character section for the pacing of this comic book i'm going to give it a 1.5 um it was really well paced i would have liked to have had maybe a little bit more action it's a smidge one or two pages less of something and one or two pages more of uh, action. Um, I don't know what the Catwoman comics are like, so I'm kind of reviewing this one in a vacuum. Uh, I can't compare it to other Catwoman issues. I've never really read any Catwoman comics. Um, this, I think, is the first Catwoman comic I may have ever read. So, um, yeah, once this storyline concludes, I probably will not go back to reading. I probably won't continue Catwoman, Woman, but maybe I will. Maybe I'll grab it on digital. Um, but yeah, still great pacing. Um, we got, we're, we're, we're progressing the story, seeing where everything goes. Jason has a lot uh, going on with Bruce in this one. So that's good. Um, for the art, I'm going to give it a 1.5. Um, I really like the art in this comic. It's nice. Um, pretty good. I'm going to talk about the cover in a second. Um, it's nice. There's actually some nice art. So I'm giving it a, uh, above average on the art. So Selena looks good here. I'm close to giving it a perfect score. I'm almost giving it, like, I could almost give it a perfect score. It's just something just slightly to my preference, a little bit, a little bit less than perfect. Um, and again, I review this based on this comic, so I'm not talking about the art versus, like, Jack Kirby art or something. Um, I have to say that I absolutely love this cover. Like, love it. I don't know why. Just maybe the red and the black. I've got a high res version of this. I might print that into a poster. It's so good. If I was someone who slabbed comics or got them graded, I only have three graded comics. You can see them all in this thing. There's a Deadpool. Uh, I don't know if you can see. I've got a New Mutants 98. I've got a Cap 100 and I've got a Daredevil Stilt Man first appearance right there. That's the only three slabbed comics I have. I would consider getting this if it was a virgin cover or something, I would consider getting this slab just because this cover. I don't know why. It just spoke to me and really got me excited. I don't know. Um, characters, I'm going to give it a two. A two out of two. Um, I think Catwoman's great in this comic. Uh, really, really well done. Um, I'm loving this kind of conflict of, you know, I've, I want to save the city and help people. I'm not against Batman, right? But... We're not seeing eye to eye on this point. Uh, Batman, of course, is a, is great. Uh, Jason's good in this one. He's he's he, he he's picked a side and he says, "Look, I'm not here to spite you, but I'm with Catwoman." Uh, Dick is kind of undecided. We're not sure where he stands. He's given Catwoman something to think about. Vandal Savage uh, is a great character, great standard villain if you need one. Um, there's some there's a little bit of a twist at the end. I I haven't kept up with Vandal Savage, so I didn't want to spoil the little twist at the end for fear that it is a spoiler um, and people might be upset, even though I don't care about spoilers. I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect me, so you can spoil away. But I know people don't like it, so I, I, I didn't spoil it. 
Uh, enjoyment factor, I'm giving it a two out of two. I'm loving this storyline. This storyline got me back into collecting the Batman comics, which I did stop for a while, but I am back on now. Uh, really liking this a lot. I think Chips brought a lot of energy to it with that failsafe uh, story arc. And then, so I actually read the failsafe and now I'm reading the next one where he's going through the different dimension. And uh, so I'm reading this storyline and the other one at the same time. I'm only missing maybe two or three issues more and then I've got all of Chips kind of run. So uh, I will complete that run in physical form. Uh, yeah, I like this comic a lot. Nine out of 10. Um, and even Batman 137 or whatever it was, that should probably, I think I gave that an eight or an eight and a half. That should be higher um, now that I'm seeing the bigger picture. So it does matter. Uh, so I review these issue to issue, but you have to take into account the larger story sometimes. So uh, taking that into account, I think this story is going to play out really well um, when it's all said and done. It might be a nine or 10 even out of 10. Um, it'll probably be at least a nine out of 10 once it's all said and done. But Highly recommend grabbing this Gotham War thing. I'm personally really enjoying it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. I want to thank my patrons. Um, you guys are awesome. If you're seeing this on YouTube, I do give early access to the patrons uh, through patreon.com slash jman77. Um, if you do like my style of review, um, give me a like and a thumbs up and a comment or something just to help the algorithm out. I know it's tired, everyone says it, but... Um, it's tough. It's tough uh, for, 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 for the small channels to get out there. So again, only if you're enjoying the way that I review these things, then go for it. If not, that's totally cool. Uh, anyways, that is it. All right. Until next time.